Hello, welcome to the new video from City Inc. Express. Today we're going to be fitting the continuous ink system to the XP605. So the fit method is exactly the same on the XP600. The only difference between the two machines, this machine is generally from PC World and Curry's, uh, and it's white. Uh, it's exactly the same as the 600, except it's the white version and not the black version. So at the moment I've got no cartridges installed in the printer. I'm going to take my SIS system, uh, we're going to start to install the cartridges, but before you do, you need to make sure that this travel roller on the side is pushed all the way down, which basically locks, will stop any ink back flowing when we remove the orange caps from the cartridges. So I have my uh, orange caps here, so we need to remove them. Uh, please keep them, because if you've ever got to reprime this system in the future, you will need the orange caps. We don't generally keep them as spare, so it's quite important. You must keep the orange caps. Put them back in your box, uh, put your box to one side and save it. So remove the orange caps, just take, twist them all off like so. And then what we're going to do is we're going to flip the cartridges over and put them straight into the printer just like a normal set. There we are, so they're all, all clicked into place. Let's just get a bit, a bit of a closer look for it. Right, so they're all clicked into place, no problem. So part way down the incline, uh, you see this green uh, this sticker. You need to remove... Uh, the green backing tape from that. You can either use a pair of scissors or nails if you've got nails or, or anything sharp to be honest. Right, so before you actually affix this you need to slide it all the way over to the left hand side and then you're going to affix it so that they're in the middle so that there is a, a little bit, tiny little bit of slack. Now you can adjust it by pulling it through the cable and then you're going to manually slide over to the right back over to the left just a couple of times make sure there's no twisting or snagging. Further down the incline here we have another one so I'm going to remove the green backing tape from that and I'm going to fix that uh, over here just make sure it's the fixed the right way around so I've been playing around with this one this morning so the clip's wrong so I'm just going to turn it round There we are, and put it over there on the right hand side. So for the SIS system, I'm going to place it over here uh, on the right hand side of the printer. Now you can put the roller in the up position. So please remember the continuous ink system must be sat at the same level as the base of the printer. If you don't, if you raise it in the air, it will flood your printer. So I'm just going to, I'm going to power the printer on now, but while it's uh, doing that, I'm going to come back to this and we're going to, what we're going to do is we're going to remove the four, the five small flat plugs from the SIS system and we're going to install the air filters so at the moment it's giving an error, well it's not an error, it's just saying that the, co the cover is open so I'm just going to shut that but as you can see can't shut it because it's being held open by the clip so I will show you how to bypass that in a minute. So within your accessory pack you have some small air filters which look like this. You need to take them, pop one in the hole, each of the hole left by removing the small flat plugs uh, and they should be inserted with the narrow pointed end facing upwards. Right, so here on the end of the SIS system you can have a spare plug, so please take this plug out uh, and what we're going to do is we're going to bypass the printer lid sensor. So the printer lid sensor, let's just have a look, it's in this hole here, so what we're going to do is I'm uh, going to pop that in now, it's come up on the screen, looks like you're using non-genuine cartridges. Yeah, we know that, OK, just press OK. Uh, it looks like you're using, OK, 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 just to get past that, continue printing, yes. Cannot recognise the cartridges, so I'm going to press OK. Uh, and it says put your hands on the side, open the scanner unit, and replace the ink cartridges. So I'm just going to take the uh, cartridge pack, the plug out. Just going to lift them all up, click them all back in. Uh, and then I'm going to put the plug back in, which I've just dropped on the floor. Just hang on. There we are. Pop that back 
okay. Yeah, so that's it. So it's all set up. So initially it said it wasn't recognised, uh, but, but that's fine. You just unclip them, clip them back in. So one thing I have noticed, now bear in mind when I fix these systems, uh, a lot of the time, uh, I don't recommend you do this, uh, but it, I don't tend to read the manual when I'm trying to design one. So I can see a potential problem here. So if you look there, there is, uh, see how close it is to to this elbow here so you need to give it a tiny a tiny bit more slack basically so it stays away so I'm just going to pull the incline and in there so I basically pulled it that way now you can see now how far away this is uh, and that should give me plenty of clearance so I have actually installed the system as you can see it's very easy to do on the XP600 and XP605 so I'm just going to do a copy uh, one copy start and that's it so I'll let, I'll let it continue printing but I'll show you with the uh, lid closed uh, and then we'll do one more with the lid open so let me just cancel that because actually my document under the scanner had moved So I'm just going to have to hang on a second because I cancelled the document and I uh, just don't want to have to think about it. So one thing I can tell you about this system, just, just looking at it and the overall design of it, well really the design of the printer, if you have to, or after, so initially we unclip the cartridges to get them uh, to make sure they were recognised and clip them back in quickly. If you have to unclip them for any length of time we do recommend that you the roller on the side of the SIS system that you must lock that down. If you don't lock it down it's got a potential to leak so that's again that's very important when you're doing maintenance on clipping that you lock the roller down on the side of the SIS system. So it's still uh, still cancelling the document. I wish it was a. I could have let it run, but uh, it have only printed half a sheet. I can't believe how long it takes to cancel a document. So I expect this one to be quite popular with customers because it has the ability to print onto CDs. So I know at the time of releasing this we have at least 75 customers uh, to 100 customers on the waiting list for this model. I think it's just running through a priming, it's decided to do a priming cycle now at the same time. But uh, I'll do a couple of copies as soon as it decides to move to the next stage. Right, okay, so I'm going to run, uh, let's get back, two copies. So plus two copies. 
start. Okay. So it's, it's not connected to a printer, so it's just scanning uh, a logo sheet underneath the scanner. So that is how it prints with the lid closed. And this is how it prints with the lid open. And that is how you fit the continuous ink system from City Ink Express to the Epson Stylus XP605 and the XP600 is the same, it's just a black printer. Thank you.